Let's place the limit switch box onto the actuator, ensuring the screw holes are aligned. Tighten the screws in a crisscross pattern to ensure even pressure. Make sure the screws are tight, but not over-tightened to avoid damaging the parts. Ensure the two connection points are fully seated. The side screws are used for fine-tuning the limit switch box's position for precise alignment. Remove the four screws from the top cover of the limit switches box. After removing the screws, remove the top cover from the body. Refer to the connection diagram provided in the product catalog. Wire the connections according to your requirements following the diagram. Ensure accurate and secure wiring. Incorrect cam settings can lead to inaccurate signaling. Adjusting the top cam fallow this steps. Push down the top cam, rotate until you hear a click, then release to lock in place. Adjusting the bottom cam fallow this steps. Lift the bottom cam, rotate until you hear a click, then release to lock in place. Conduct several cycles of operation to confirm that the system works reliably and consistently.